Hello Vault Crew and Gamers. Today I will be doing something a bit different since my last two videos have revolved around XP. In this video I will be comparing three weapons to see which one does the most damage over the course of around 30 seconds. After one wasteland for all, the bloody legendary effect has a smaller impact since the damage bonus is now additive instead of multiplicative. Thus, I wanted to see how the quad legendary effect stacks up to the weapon I've been using for so long, which is a bloody 25% faster fire rate, 25 let's fast AP cost fixer. The following are the two weapons I will be comparing this fixer with. The first is a quad 25% faster fire rate, 25 let's fast AP cost handmade rifle. And the second is a quad 25% faster fire rate, 25 let's fast AP cost fixer. A quick mention goes to Vault Crew community members Liquids and Night Raid for letting me borrow the quad weapons to conduct this test. All three weapons are at max level and will have the same mods. Powerful automatic receiver, aligned long barrel, forceful stock, piercing magazine, reflex sight, and suppressor. These may not be the mods that some prefer, but I just wanted to make sure that they match across all three weapons. My character will be at 52 out of 293 or 17.7% .7 health. The effects that will increase the damage of my weapons include Rank 3 Nerd Rage, the Speed Demon Mutation, and Adrenal Reaction Mutation. He is also grouped with a mutated teammate, so Strange in Numbers boosts those two mutations as well. Additional damage inducing perks include Rank 2 Commando, Rank 2 Expert Commando, Rank 2 Master Commando, and Rank 3 Tank Killer. The target will be an Immortal Treasure Hunter Mole Miner. By the way, I hope everyone has made the most out of their latest Treasure Hunter weekend. I decided not to buy pails this go around and came up with 57 dusty pails, 22 regular pails, and 13 ornate pails. For these tests, I will continuously fire for 32.52 seconds. I am only testing the quantity fired based on bullets fired. A headshot or miss will count as white damage based on the weapon. I will try to minimize the reload time as much as I can to maintain fairness. Our results will be displayed until all weapons are tested, so let's begin. Based on the results, the quad handmade did 6.7% more damage than my bloody fixer. And even further, the quad fixer did 13.5% more damage. It's safe to say that the Q2525 fixer will be the desired weapon out of these three. I will have to give back the quad weapons to their owners, but I now have a weapon I will try to acquire. And for those that know me, I will try to get these weapons without trading. If you found this information useful, feel free to react to the video. 
For more Fallout 76 informational content, you may subscribe and turn on notifications to be alerted of new videos. I am still in awe over my sub count literally doubling over the past week. It's been one year since my first Fallout 76 upload on YouTube and I was only aiming to get a goal of 300 subscribers by today. The channel is now sitting at over 650 subscribers and I appreciate the Fallout 76 community on YouTube for their positive comments. I will continue with the weekly uploads and give you something to look forward to. Thank you so much. Congratulations to Vaka and QQB for winning the latest auctions in our Discord. I will be posting more auctions in the Discord later this week, so if you have some caps and are on PC, connect to the Valkyrie Gaming Discord. You can also catch me live streaming on Twitch almost daily at 10pm PST. I am also on Twitter where I follow all gamers back. All links will be shared in the channel description down below. Until next time, I appreciate you coming through. Video dismissed, Arox offline. Bye now.